Bioaccumulation is the process by which toxins enter the food web by building up in individual organisms, while biomagnification is the process by which toxins are passed from one trophic level to the next and thereby increase in concentration within a food web. When it comes to bioaccumulation and biomagnification, synthetic, man-made substances known as persistent organic pollutants, or POPs, are a major problem. These compounds are difficult to break down in the environment and can accumulate in live creatures' fatty tissues. DDT, a pesticide widely used after World War II, and PCBs, flame retardants, are two examples of POPs. Bioaccumulation takes place at the base of a food chain in primary producers like phytoplankton. POPs are absorbed directly from the saltwater by these microscopic photosynthetic organisms, which collect them in their bodies over time. Toxins accumulate in their tissues because they are absorbed faster than they can be eliminated from the water. Biomagnification occurs when slightly larger organisms called zooplankton feed upon the contaminated phytoplankton and in turn absorb POPs into their own tissues at a higher concentration. A zooplankton's body will contain more contaminants the more contaminated phytoplankton it consumes. Because POPs are becoming increasingly concentrated at each trophic level, some of the ocean's top predators are at risk of accumulating potentially deadly quantities of POPs in their bodies. Minamata disease is caused by methylmercury absorption into the body from a variety of environmental sources, primarily seafood. Hair samples are used to determine the amount of mercury in the body, and it is commonly acknowledged that levels greater than 50 ppm parts per million, are likely to cause nerve damage. People residing outside of the Minamata area had an average level of 4 ppm, whereas those in the Minamata area had levels as high as 700 ppm. Contaminated seafood is the most likely source, as it was in the case of Minamata residents. Chiso, one of the largest Japanese corporations at the time, dumped its waste into Minamata Bay. Methyl mercury was one of the toxins found in the discarded garbage, and this pollutant accumulated in the food chain. Plankton, which is the principal food source for shellfish and fish in the sea, absorbed and ingested it. Larger fish that ate the poisoned fish absorbed the mercury as well, spreading the sickness even further up the food chain. Fish-eating birds, as well as other predators that preyed on these birds, were infected. The pollutants in Minamata Bay were not scattered over a large area, but remained concentrated within the bay, increasing the risk because locals get their protein from fish.